Welcome back, my beauty squad. If you're new, it's your girl Jessica. So today I am doing a affordable glam holiday look. And I'm doing this with my girl, none other than Aries Life. Love you, sis. If y'all do not know who I am talking about, I will put a picture right here. Put her link down below. Make sure you go grab her up. She is amazing. She is a sweetheart. She does have beautiful merch. I can't wait to actually be able to buy some soon, hopefully. But, um, yeah. I know most of y'all door creators, y'all might not know who Ari is. But she is an amazing supporter. She's been grinding, 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 trying to get her school in the end. So, she's been super busy. But, please make sure you drop down below. Show her some love. Let her know that we're all here for her. And if you are coming from Ari's channel, thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of my beauty squad members. Y'all are what pushes me to make this content. So today's look, I'm using the Naughty BH Cosmetics palette. Um, if y'all want to see how I recreated my look, make sure you stay tuned. Look So you decided to stick around. Thank you so much, Beauty Squad. So yeah, I'm going to recreate this eye over here. Like I said in the beginning, if you do not have Aerie, please get out and check her out. She is beautiful and so amazing. This is a collaboration. This is just a affordable BH Cosmetics, very affordable glam holiday look I wanted to do for y'all. I can say, y'all, I've seen some better work out of BH Cosmetics. I'm not impressed by no means. It wasn't that hard to achieve this look. But it's just, this is really, really chalky, like really powdery. I've got like, y'all about to see. Y'all about to see. Let me just get down to it. Instead of talking about it, let's be about it. All right, so I've done private eye. I set it down, mainly because I didn't know, um, like, how long it was going to take me to film. But I'm going in with the shade Rudolph right here. Very pigmented. I can't say that. This red is very pigmented. So be careful. Because where you lay this pigment at is where it's going to be. She does move around really nice. It's just some of these shades of this palette I'm not that impressed with. This one right here is a good red. And this palette right here was a gift. From my baby of course. She didn't like the formula of it. It took a little bit too much more work than she wanted to do because she was going to keep this one and she was, she got me this one and she just didn't care for it. So make sure you go over and check out her review on this palette as well. But Ari is so gorgeous. I know she's in college right now. She has a lot on her plate. So just that she's able to sit down and make content is amazing. I do want to deepen up this look just a tad. So, I've used a more a compact brush, and I went in with Candy K, this burgundy shade. I should have did this first before my face, but I always try to do my face first because I feel like it saves me time when I'm getting ready to feel the look. Okay, I like that better. You know what I mean? I, that's just, is that just me? It's probably just me. But there is, I did a Spirits of Fallout over here. I just have a, well, I had it. Oh, a makeup wipe. And being I already got my face done, I don't like doing that. But you could dab it real lightly and then go back and kind of lay some concealer on it. Like, you could fix it, Bobby. Like, you could fix it. I'm not saying you can't. It's just, it's a little bit more work than what you really want it to be. So this shade right here is the one I kind of had trouble with because it's, like, really really powdery okay so i just didn't beat it off last time good enough you just want to be really careful with them i just like going in with a lighter shade uh, hold on let me show you see how chalky it is now i know how to kind of control this not as bad as this side i still got a little bit there I'm loving that little glitter moment. I used that top shade. I did not use that glitter glue. I just put a shimmer down and laid that bad boy on top. You could probably get a lot more pigment out of using shimmer. 
or I use a glitter glue or a lash glue or whatever glue you want to use. This is so for your eyes, of course. Rephrase that before somebody goes get some Elber's glue and put it in their eyes. And be like, well, Jessica said that we could use any glue we wanted to. Now, when it comes to shades like this, if you take your shadows off with makeup remover, with a Q-tip, like a lot of people do now, instead of the just the regular cut crease, you would get a better clean canvas, of course. But that's just too much work for me. So I just cover it over, just like so. I've showed y'all numerous times. If you go over too far, all you gotta do is take your product that you already have on the brush and just pat 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 and it makes it disappear now now for the magic i went in with very merry which is the shade right here this is the shade i went in and um airbrushed that out very merry this is a beautiful green like I should have just left this on there instead of adding that glitter. I would have liked it better. Like that. Like, oof, that's a pretty color. So let me see if I can fix this. Pretty sure I can. There we go. No, I like that better. I'm going to leave it with this green on here. I like this green better. For some reason. I'm not really feeling that gold, y'all. Like, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong, it is pretty. But I like that green and red better. I think this is a better combo for me. Now, what I want to do is take this shade. Which is called Balsam. Balsam? I don't know. And I'll just stick it up right there on my waterline. With, like, a pencil brush. I'm going to take that pad. And then I want another little pencil brush. And I'm taking a snow day. Mind you. Because they are a little dusty. I got snow day in my eyeball a while ago. Which wasn't fun, guys. At all. Take snow day and add it right here. I do have BH Cosmetics. Uh, the highlighter too. So you can achieve a pretty look in this palette. An affordable look at that. So, and that's what I want to give y'all. A really nice affordable look. Not, we all don't have, we don't have the money to be running out and buying all these expensive brands. So you can get this affordable palette. Very beautiful. I do want to take another shade though. Let me do misbehave which is that orange yellowish tone and just kind of buff this out i should have tried that ho 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 shade sorry for the kids in the background very pretty very 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 pretty now i'm gonna try out the highlighter to this set no that's the highlighter I'm going to go in with sugar cookie. It's this one right here. Ooh, I hear you. It ain't no Lily Porsche. But, you know, she's okay. She's pretty. She gets the job done for sure. But yeah. This is the look. Let me do my liner real fast. And I'll show y'all the other. Ooh. They do have these, so I do want to try these out. Let's try the gold one. That's what I gotta say. They wrapped everything good on these. Okay, there. I'll get up. And these are kind of like glitter liners. I don't even know if they're eyeball safe. But they're liners, so. We're about to find out, right? Okay, that's pretty. 
you draw. I know a lot of people like to draw with these. Trying to mess up my own work. Work, 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 work. Okay, I need that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the top with the black. Just because I will put lighter on. Y'all, let me tell you, this eyeliner that I have right here that I'm getting ready to put on my stamp is a good eyeliner. I fell asleep last night with my makeup on. And I woke up with some pretty eye, uh, pretty eyes still. Like, I didn't have a problem. I'm just gonna do a little wing today. And you know, I always break that out just a little bit. And you want to flip her. Just like that. I'd rather have it too little than too big. Because I can go in and like bring it out a little bit. And then of course I always gotta gotta match them up. Because our liners are never twins. You might become cousins. Sometimes sister-in-laws. Every once in a while, stepsisters, but never like the real deal. And I'm just bringing this in right there. Now, I know y'all see that boo-boo right there. Y'all see that boo-boo? Let me show you how I fix this boo-boo. Just take a little wipe and clean her up. And you're good to go home. And I'm going to use affordable mascara. I love my Believe Beauty mascara. That is one of my favorite affordable mascaras of all times, y'all. Chicken wee, chicken wee. Y'all, I've got that dang old dub song in my head. Make sure you don't have no cl clubs because you don't want that on yours. And whenever you go in with a second coat, that's whatever. This mascara does its magic, as you can tell. Like, that first coat don't really do nothing, but it's that second coat to be like, okay, there she is. And it's $4, guys, like, $4. That's your local Dollar General or online. And this is my Christmassy look now I'm gonna try uh but I'm not putting a red lip on I like doing that and it gives it a red tint, but it's not overpowering because I do not look good at a red lip. I don't think I look good at a red lip. I know I don't look good at a red lip, so I ain't even playing myself. Just saying. Oh no. <laughs> I put uh, concealer on my face. Oh well. This is my final look. I hope y'all like it. Make sure you drop down below and pick up Aries Life, please. 
it would mean the world to me she is an awesome supporter she has been with me for a long long time guys and i know a lot of y'all are content creators i might not know who ari is but she has been super busy at school doing what she's got to do grinded her work and y'all let's go let's go support our girl show her some love i love y'all to pieces i will see y'all in the next